The title, we used to talk about love, is more of a statement that I hope gives rise to a host of questions such as, do we talk about love more? Do we, did we used to talk about love? How do we talk about love over time? It's inspired perhaps by sources such as Raymond Carver's short story, what we talk about when we talk about love, but it's also inspired by a mood or a feeling or a shift in art practice and that was away from postmodernism, appropriation and discourse into more ideas about intimacy and emotion. Love itself can be spiritual, emotional, sexual, familial, but what I was most interested in was love as emotion because it, if you think of love as emotion you can attach a host of the human spectrum of feeling to that, just that word. So you can bring all these adjectives to it, such as joy, elation, sadness, memory, melancholia, and therefore it doesn't become prescriptive, it's quite open-ended. What I did was I structured the exhibition around four broad ideas, which of course have been driven by the art and the artists. The first one was to begin with the flesh, which included work by Polly Borland, Paul Knight and Angelica Massetti, exploring the vexed terrain of the body and desire. And then I looked at a section called Expressive Abstractions, which was the work of David Rosetsky and Darren Sylvester. And then you moved into a room called An Archive of Feeling, which was the work of Eliza Hutchinson, David Noonan and Justine Williams. And then the final room is called Filthy Crushing Ending, which is work by Glenn Sloggett, Grant Stevens and Tim Silver. The show charts, I hope, an emotional arc through these four general ideas uh, to take you on a journey from beginning to end, so through the parlance of love, through its fleshy beginnings, to its crushing conclusions, which you might experience perhaps in the work of Tim Silver that just ends up being a sculpture that is disintegrated on the floor, um, which began in a standing position. For the second time I've collaborated with an architect called Jan van Skyk from Minifi van Skyk Architects and we got together, brought Jan on quite late in the project once it was curated and after lots of um, conversing with the artists to help articulate what was ostensibly four white cube galleries and we want, I wanted to break these galleries down, carve up the space to create a more intimate environment so that you're in closer proximity to the artwork. What we wanted to achieve in carving up the space was an intimate engagement with the art. And so you walk through passageways into very intimate spaces where the art is very close to you. You walk through dark spaces and light spaces and it really is a bit of a labyrinth through the actual exhibition. And that was the, what we had, Jan and I, were really interested in achieving with this collaboration. I'm creating a framework which I hope is speculative enough to, to let, because all of these works speak on their own terms as well, and that's always the danger with a thematic exhibition that you can structure things so tightly that there's no room to breathe. And I hope that this subject, which in itself is one of the subjects that has um, preoccupied humankind for centuries, uh, you know, what is love, uh, is big enough that this work sort of floats to the surface and has its own air and it breathes. That was really important to me that I didn't close anything down.